I'm Daniel Bita and I'm one of the founders of the ZooShare Biogas Project and uh, this project actually got started late 2010, early 2011 with the formation of ZooShare Biogas Cooperative, which is a renewable energy co-op operating here in Ontario that now has over 700 member investors who partnered together with Oshawa Power and Utilities Corporation and of course the Toronto Zoo to build this biogas project. Each year, the Biogas Project takes in 2,000 tons of zoo manure and about 15,000 tons of food waste, which results in greenhouse gas emission reductions approximately equivalent to 20,000 tons per year. The biogas that gets produced is then combusted to make renewable electricity, which is sufficient to provide enough power for 250 homes per year. Grocery stores account for a significant portion of food waste across this country. As Canada's largest food retailer, we are a big part of that problem and it's incredibly important for us to be a part of that solution. We're incredibly proud to have had the opportunity to be involved with ZooShare Biogas from inception to find ways to take food that is not fit for human consumption and create a new opportunity through this energy solution. Hi there, my name is Dolph DeYoung, CEO of Your Toronto Zoo. Our mission at Your Zoo is connecting people, animals and conservation science to fight extinction. And programs like the Zoo Share Biogas Plant are important tools in that fight. We believe that conservation is a team sport at Your Zoo and we need more players. And we're so grateful for partners like Zoo Share for joining us in this journey and the others who are coming on board to make sure a brighter future for wildlife. All right, here we are in front of our manure shed where the Toronto Zoo drops off their material on a regular basis. They're bringing us zoo manure, of course, as well as bedding material and other organic waste from around the zoo. The material is left here when it comes. The zoo staff drop it off in our manure shed and then the plant staff pick it up periodically and put it into the receiving tanks where it become part of the biogas production process. So what we have behind here is our receiving tanks where the food waste from the waste management industry comes in and gets mixed together with the zoo manure. There are agitation equipment within our receiving tank that mixes it around so it's nice and homogeneous before it then gets pumped into our pasteurization system to get ready for digestion. We at Enterforge are thrilled to be partnering with ZooShare, Toronto Zoo and Loblaws to showcase and build cleantech innovation in the city of Toronto. We are diverting waste from landfills and converting it to power to help power Canada's leading wildlife and conservation centre at the Toronto Zoo. We are proud of the fact that we bring our expertise and our ability to deliver and manage this site and actually powering the clean tech future of Ontario. All right, everybody, here we are at the digester tank, and this is where the magic happens. After the material comes out of the pasteurization tanks, it is pumped into this giant tank here, where bacteria will eat the organic waste and slowly convert it into biogas over a period of about 25 or 30 days. After the material is converted to biogas, the gas itself comes down in this pipe, where it is then transported to our end storage tank, where it is stored, and the digestate comes out of this tank when it is finished digesting and also ends up in the end storage tank. All right, here we are at the end storage tank and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about how we built our tanks. So we use the Octiform system, which is a plastic forming system where you snap the pieces together a little bit like Lego. It's a dual layer where you have an inner and an outer layer 
and it has the insulation uh, within there, within the concrete, and so it's a relatively easy way of building tanks. I am honored today on behalf of Team Octiform to congratulate ZooShare's team on the fantastic development that has been built in Toronto, Ontario at the zoo. I'm particularly proud and honored that they have chosen to make Octiform their partner in this wonderful project. Bullfrog Power saw a really compelling uh, value in supporting the Zeus Hair project because it's so aligned with our mission of helping to transform the energy system. At Bullfrog, we see a lot of value in biogas. Uh, it has a dual benefit in our view. It takes waste, so avoiding that waste just being waste and reducing it, and at the same time, giving us more energy. Uh, which is really the concept of a circular economy. Zushar in particular uh, really stood out to us just because of how catchy of an idea it was and how easy it was to convey to people of all ages the, uh, you know, the power of, of biogas and, and to do so in a way that even children can understand. So that's why we were in on the educational side of things, trying to support the growth of knowledge within the community about this technology. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you very much for joining us for the tour today. We hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot. We look forward to hosting you in person soon for a tour and have yourself a great rest of the day.